What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I bring you 9 things you must and need to know about the Taken King DLC. Now all this information was taken from Game Informer's Taken King special issue which was dropped a couple days back. But getting straight into the video, at number 1, progression has been reworked entirely since the game's launch. Leveling from 1 to 40 is now based entirely on your own actions now we all know a whole new leveling system has been introduced into the game i've already made a video on this and if you missed that i will link it in the video description at number two a brand new behind the scenes reward system pays attention to the gear and weapons you already have and not only attempts to avoid giving the same reward multiple times but targets you for new loot that will be valuable for progression. Now this is something I am actually excited to see in the works. I mean, I'm so sick and tired of getting the same old shit over and over and over again, I really am. In at number three, the Cryptox more reliable. He provides rewards that match the engrams you give him. Now this is good to see and hear it really is. At number four, quests provide meaningful story progression and clearly trackable paths through all the game's content, thereby lessening the grind. Now we all know quests are going to be a major part of the Taken King DLC. Uh, basically the whole DLC is going to be based around certain quests that you have to do in order to obtain new exotics, your new subclasses and so forth. And I can't wait to get my hands on, I really can't. At number 5 you can carry more bounties at any one time and you can turn them in without returning to the bounty giver. Absolutely epic. Saves a shitload of time it really does. Hopefully maybe we may be able to pick them up without going to the giver as well. That would be awesome too. We're just going to have to wait and see. At number 6 the crucible has improved matchmaking and a mercy rule ends matches early when any given contest is dramatically misbalanced. Sounds like something they've really thought about, to be honest. At number seven, Crucible Heavy and Special Ammo Drops and Economies have been reworked to be more understandable and usable. At number eight, weapons have been balanced across the board with the aim to eliminate the dominance of just a few weapons and make every weapon type a compelling choice. Basically, fixing that fawn, fixing that last word, Fixing shotguns, it's as simple as that. That's all I needed to hear. In at number nine, whether your garage is a number of crucible maps, exotic weapons, or playable missions, Destiny now has more than twice as much content as the original release. While the Taken King introduces the first fully explorable new gameplay area, the new story mission zones, raids, and arena add substantial real estate to uncover. And I don't know about you guys, but I cannot wait for the Taken King DLC to come. The 15th of September cannot come round soon enough, it really can't. But guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something about it. If you have any questions to ask, please do so down below in the comment section. Thanks for stopping by as always, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Stay.